Welcome to another K implant information video. We try to explain simple. If you want to uh, get more information, ask us for the literature. We are talking about uh, basics of coating and materials of implants. Next. Next. We see different uh, materials. We have plastic. Next. We have ceramics. Next. We have metal. Next. And here you see the examples. Uh, we have the polyethylene uh, called uh, ultra high um, molded vacuum polyethylene. We have for instruments the POM, we have ceramics, we have weiter, uh, aluminium oxide or titanium rigid, um, we have zirconium oxide, and um, in metals we use uh, the steel, cobalt chromium, or titanium alloys. Next. What are the options uh, for improvement of those materials? Next. Um, in the polyethylene, we can do next uh, cross-linking or embrittlement. This means that uh, the material will get harder. Uh, cross-link is a uh, um, well-proven uh, material now. Um, we have ceramic, synfirm ceramic next, or a mixture of ceramic, um, the, gold, uh, the golden coating, or another ceramic mixtures like you have uh, from Forte coming to Delta or coming from ELEC to ELEC plus. Next, <coughs> in metal, we have options um, to improve um, next the surface uh, or to make uh, um, uh, composite materials or to have something with controlled resorption, for example, like magnesium alloys or something. Next. Um, we talk about optimizing with coatings. With coatings, you have uh, interesting um, options to change the characteristic of a material because everything you want from an implant is, uh, happens at the surface. Uh, the basic material is just responsible for the stability, for the mechanical features, the form, the shape, but ingrowth, infection characteristics, um, everything what happens um, uh, like wear, um, movement um, friction is from the surface. This is actually done in a lot of um, um, fields of technique today. You see in glasses, you see in car industry, nano surfaces, something like this. What can we do? We can have ceramic surfaces, we can have a porous coating, it's called CPTI or TPS, which is the same. Uh, we have bioactive coatings, we can have local drug delivery and some uh, bone uh, um, growth factors or bone replacement materials. Go on. Um, a characteristic of the biomaterials is very uh, interesting and important. What is the behavior? We have bioinert materials, biotolerated materials, bioconductive materials or bioactive materials. For example, bioinert are the ceramics, biotolerated are polyethylene or bone cement or cobalt chromium or steel. Better behavior, this is why we use titanium for ingrowth, is titanium alloys. Or bioactive is like bonite, like uh, resolvable ceramics, um, some bone replacement materials, glasses. Next. So coming to examples. Biotolerated. You see here, it's an old TBR design. It was uh, coming with surface um, uh, covering with some little balls, which gives us uh, a much uh, better or bigger surface. The idea was to have a better ingrowth. But problem is, you see here, the bone cells, they are not really growing onto the surface. We have a mechanical improvement, but the direct contact from bone cells to the material is not available because it's just biotolerated. So for perfect ingrowth, no steel, no cobalt chromium. Next. Here you see very good, it's totally clean. There is no connection from the bone cells to the surface. Next. Difference. Um, we have here a surface which is done uh, basic um, titanium, then additionally CPTI TPS. This is pl a plasma spray um, with pure titanium and additionally some bonite. And here you see definitely uh, it was exp um, explanted after only three weeks. You see very good um, um, ingrowth of bone cells directly to the surface. Next. Here you see the enlargement. Next. 
And here is a raster electronic microscope um, cut basic material. Here you see the TPS uh, plasma spray, the pure titanium on the basic layer of titanium. And here you see that there is a direct contact between the bone cells and the surface. So it's a very good ingrowth improvement. Next. And here um, you see the raster um, electron microscope um, picture. Next. And what is the difference next? Of between this bonite, we can call it second generation or third generation of HA to HA. You see here, it's a explant uh, tibia with HA, and you see the tibia, um, there's HA is still there. Here it's um, um, the bonite surface, and there are, there are uh, a lot of differences. First is, um, and I try to explain it simple, go for further details in the literature. Um, engineers want to have a good ingrowth between um, metal implant and um, surface. So what did the people do? Um, they tried to make uh, additional titanium, um, pure titanium on the surface, which is not available for the stems, for example, because they are not um, stable enough, but for a coating it's nice. Uh, so you use the controlled plasma spray um, 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 uh, uh, function and, and make the material very hot and melt it to the surface so it's uh, really connected to the surface. These machines are available so they put uh, powder in it, um, HA powder, hydroxyl apatite, because uh, bone uh, consists um, from this material so the idea was we take very similar bone uh, material and make it uh, somehow stuck and coated on the surface so we improve the ingrowth. Those coatings are quite thick and um, the chemical structure of HA is quite stable because it's a ceramic um, characteristic and you have to know it passed through a very, very hot flame during this plasma spray process and so it is chemically quite stable. So how could the bioreactor human um, make this um, disappear by uh, just in the body with uh, 37 degrees? So later people thought about, okay, what can we do? We found out that uh, in bone um, healing situations after fractures, we have a different chemical composition. So people learn from this different chemical composition and make uh, some little change in the mixture of the HA. So there are some parts of other compositions like brushite. Please go to the literature about it. So this is a more um, faster going in reaction with the body. Second is um, a different um, way to put it on the surface and I will explain in the next pictures. Go on. Here just the HA plasma spray, very thick and so the connection to the surface is not so stable. So sometimes you see that um, it, it falls off the surface when you hammer an HA stem inside uh, you see in the OR light maybe a little bit dust coming up. This is HA and go on. So now going into details between the HA and the bonite. On this picture you see enlargements of, um, of um, uh, plasma spray uh, coated surfaces. You see that we have the little titanium balls to enlarge the surface. And then the next step is put some additional coating on it. Here the coating is HA, plasma spray, and here the coating on the next picture you will saw, next, you will see bonite. Yeah? You see a really different structure. How can it be? 